so much for joining us so this is going to be the final piece that we're making for our garland so we're going to be making a Christmas stocking so what you're going to need is you're going to need a pencil a black pen you're going to need a glue stick and some scissors and for your coloured paper you're going to need some black some white and some red and then an extra colour that's going to be the spots on the stocking so I've gone for green on this one but you can mix up choose a different variation of colour whatever you want to put in your stocking and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start drawing out the outline onto the black paper so it's going to just look like a big sock with a cuff on the top things is pointing out towards the right there we go and so the cuff's going to be like a curved rectangle shape on top, so the edges are going to be curved round. There we go. So once you're happy with your shape, you just cut it out. There we go, curving those lines around the cuff. Oh, and down by the ankle. Perfect. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab some white paper and place the black sock on top and you're going to start drawing around the top where the cuff is. So you're going to cut out the cuff in white and then you're going to draw a line around the ankle and around the toes. So the toes are going to look like they've got white patches on it and so are the heel. So just draw in that shape and then in each one of these shapes you're going to draw a smaller version. So you're going to have that black outline around each side of it. And on the cuff, you're going to have the lines a bit wiggly. It'll make the, the top part look a bit fluffier. So once you're happy, you just start cutting out the shapes. Cut around the toe and the ankle shape. And cut out the cuff, wiggling those scissors so you've got a nice wiggly line on there. So once you've got those all cut out, you're going to grab the red paper and you're going to start drawing around the sock outline with your black shape. There we go. And then you're going to place the ankle piece and the toe piece on top and then you're going to be able to trace out the shape that's going to sit around those. There go. Make sure you get the toe in the right way. So trace around that and then you're going to leave a gap around, around the sock outline and around the ankle piece and the toe piece. So you're going to have a black outline around all of that and a wiggly line at the top of the sock as well. So just cutting that one out now. Wiggle those scissors at the top of the sock. And there we go. So you can start placing all of those onto the stocking. And if they don't quite fit, you can always trim them a bit. You just want a black outline around the sock and in between each of the, the sections. Just rub away any pencil lines you might have on those. So I'm just going to trim the top of that a bit. It's just a little bit too long. And when you're happy, you can just start gluing those on. If you're not quite happy, just try it again. You can always trim the black shape out a bit until it fits around the toe. And the ankle piece. And the cuff part now. We go perfect. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab the colour you're going to have your spots and you're just going to try start drawing some different sized circle shapes. Some are maybe half circles, so they're going to sit along the edge of the sock. So all different sizes, 
and then when you're happy just start cutting them out so I've done five shapes but maybe you want lots of small ones or just a couple bigger ones it's your your choice So we're just trimming away so it's a nice round shape. Final one. Here we go. Then you're going to grab um, a piece of scrap back paper and you're going to start gluing all those circles onto that. Then we're going to cut them out so they've got a nice black outline along the outside of them. Here we go, grabbing the scissors and just cut around it. The one on the edge it doesn't have to have a black line around it because it's going to sit before the black line on the final piece anyway. Go just a thin line all the way around. There we go. So once they're all ready, you're just going to place them around on the stocking. Just cut that edge one into shape until you're happy and just stick it right down if you're happy with where it's going. You might want to place them on first and have a, a play around of where you want them to sit. There you go and just start gluing them down once you're happy. There we go. So lastly, you're just going to grab a black pen and you're going to start drawing little lines in between the, st the sock and the toe piece. It's just going to look like big over exaggerated stitching. Just got quite a cool effect on that. So just do your stitches, it just look thin little black lines. And there we go. Our stocking's complete. So the last part we've just got to do is do our little hanging piece for the back and then it's ready to get hung right on the garland with all the other ones. We go cutting out our rainbow shape and stick that on the back. And here we go, our Christmas stocking. I'm just trimming it around the toe quickly and now that's ready. all ready to get hung onto our garland. So in the next video, I'll show you how to put that together. Thanks for joining. <music>